What's going on fishing buddies? Welcome back to the channel. It's cold this morning. <laughs> I had to break out like the woolly hoodie. Out here this morning in beautiful Petito Key, casting out artificials for surf flounder. Let's get it out there. <sighs> Let's get it. Early morning, flounder fishing in the surf. It's fanning out cast, parallel to the beach, straight out. Just trying to locate these guys right now. I am throwing the white knock and tail. This is four inch, one eighth Fight Club jig head today. I got this on 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, 2500 LKO series reel, 10 pound true braid, and the seven foot dagger. I'm gonna try to throw on the Fight Club butt kicker in this green color. This will give me some scent. Play match the hatch. The water is a little murky this morning. So maybe this will illuminate better in the surf. Oh, come on. It might be a lizard fish. All right. Come on. Come on. All right. I had one hit and what I feel is a lizard fish pulling at my tail. That's it. I'm hoping when this sun peaks over, the bite might turn on. But this is a great spot to get these surf flounder. Super deep here, up close. Sandbar action right here to the east. Another little point here to my west. So plenty of structure, soft sand is key with these guys because they, they want to bury in that sand. Got one? All right. Brent got one. All right, eliminate the skunk. <laughs> All right, got one on the beach. All right. Come on. I'd like to put one of these guys in the cooler. Bring home for lunch. I got one out of this same hole yesterday. Nice fat one. And he was delicious. All right, I'm gonna switch up profiles. I can't decide if I wanna go small or big though. <laughs> I have, um, <clears throat> I have some five inch knocking tails here and I'll also have some three and a quarters. I think I'm gonna go big. Try that out. I have a few different colors with these five inchers, but I am gonna go with the greenback. Greenback's one of my favorites from knocking tail. Got the rattle in there, make some noise. Nice, big, fat, juicy bait. See if that'll get him. All right, bigger profile. He'll make a lot of noise. These bigger knocking tails have a louder rattle in them. Obviously there's more real estate to play with. <laughs> the size of the left. Oh, there he is. Oh, <laughs> you got one over here too? All right, sun is coming up and the bite just turned on. Oh, he came on. No, Brad, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that was your keeper we were both hooked up mine didn't last long Brant got his to shore come on come on come on come on ah! Ah! <laughs> look look at here he broke me off 
Yep, broke me off. Got my knocking tail. Let me retie. Oh, Grant's on again. Yeah, come off. I think that's a good one. He hit it like a good one, and he's feeling it. He feels heavy. That's, that, right. that's a, all right. That's yeah, okay. that's okay. That's a flounder. All right, retied. I'm putting on that same bait, that five inch, knock and tail in the green back. I got a one eighth jig head back on there. Let's see if I can get one in. So right when that sun peaked, it turned on. Grant hooked up twice. I had one hit and a miss, and then a nice one got on there and broke me off. Come on. Come on, let me get some lunch. Let me get some lunch. Got him, got one. All right, I've got to keep this guy pinned. Finally, hit that five inch knock and tail, hit the big one. Come on up, come on up. Yeah. Oh, he spit it right there. <laughs> That's a nice one. He's not going to keep. Ah, but at least I shook the skunk. Oh, he got off. Goodbye, buddy. All right. I did like a parallel cast with that one. So we're going to try that again. It gives me more real estate to work back. I think they're up close right now. That's where we've been getting the hookups, I believe. Yeah, buddy. That's a keeper. Brant's slaying them. That's a keeper. I got a, I got a, I got a um, tape measure. Oh yeah, that's a keeper, dude. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's lunch. I'm gonna measure on this guy with the old sinker guy tape. This guy comes in handy. This guy will bite me. Yeah. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna be careful. Don't bite me, Mr. Flounder. Today. Oh no, he didn't make it. Dang, he's cute. <laughs> he didn't make it. <laughs> All right, that was a heartbreaker. Brant thought he had lunch. <laughs> I think he was about three quarters of an inch shy. They're here. They're just being tricky this morning. They're, I've hooked up on, I think three. I got that one on the beach. The other two, I mean, hit it and let go. Usually they'll come back and hit it again, but he didn't. And then that second one I hooked on, that was a big one because I got one big pull and he broke my line. I am using 10 pound. Um, I like that lighter fluorocarbon leader for the flounder in the surf, you know, but I might, should probably bump it up to 15. He completely choked. Nice. That is cool. All right, we're gonna have to get the pliers for him. That was right there. Yep, that, I've been doing parallel casts because I've been getting the bumps close to the beach. That was no bump. He <laughs> I think I see Frisky down there. That looks like Frisky. He's wearing shorts and a short sleeve shirt in this cold weather. It's got to be an out of towner. <laughs> Frisky will be out here in shorts and 40 degree weather. I'm gonna walk down here and see how Frisky's doing. He might know something, I don't. Anything? Pompano and a flounder? You're crazy. You didn't get no pompano. Yeah, dude. Did you take a picture? I got proof. <laughs> you got a pompano? Was he a keeper? No. Oh. I knew you wouldn't believe me. What, what is that? Is that the little LKO gear? Yeah. That's what you got the pompano on? Yep. There it is. Look at this, guys. Pompano 
on the LKO gear turd. This is Clint and Angela's um, signature baits they're making up at the shop. Frisky pulled in a pompano with one. Nice, buddy. I'm going back with my big knock and tail. This is a different color. It's got the glittery blue on the bottom, white on top, red jig head. This is a 3 16 jig head. So I'm gonna bump it up a little bit and see if that makes a difference. All right, Brant's out of here. Brant caught about five flounder in an hour. <laughs> I have that heavier jig head on, so I'm getting a longer cast throwing parallel. So trying to cover more ground up close, but I just cannot get anything to bite. Oh, right when I said that, right when I said it, I got one. All right, on the five inch knock and tail. There he is, come on up. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Oh, he got off right at the lip. Oh, there he goes. He wasn't a keeper. He wasn't a keeper. Got me on that lip. There we go. Got him. Oh, he's coming for it. He's coming back. Come on, get it. Get it. I got him. Got him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he came back for it. He came back for it. Oh, this lip is destroying me. So yesterday and today, the five inch knock and tail lure has been the one that's been pulling in the most, most flounder for me. Again, they have a four inch, they have a three and a quarter. Um, curly tails are a little bit longer like the Fight Club curly tails. But for some reason, this big boy with the loud rattle has been pulling in the flounder. Hit the sign. Oh, let me show you how to do it. Ah! <laughs> oh, way off. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 